Hello, this is Marco from Martinez Medical Systems. In this video, I will show you how you can import external data into OxySoft. In this video, I use a random nearest measurement. Besides, I have a simple text file with a generated signal, possibly coming from a third-party software. You see, it's a list with a column of time in seconds. Note that the time steps do not need to be constant. And a column with the data. In this example, the data is made of zeros with a few ones and twos in it, mimicking events. To get this file into your measurement, you go to Measurement, Add External Data. Here you click Browse and choose your text file with the data. There are two ways to import data. First, as a fixed width, where you give in the location of the first digit and the length for the whole number. So in this example, it will be time. It starts at the first of every line and it has three digits. Then I will do data, which starts at the sixth number, and it's only one digit. However, in this case, I know the data is tab delimited. So it's easier to choose delimited with a tab. So the first column is time, and it starts at one. And the other one is data, starting at in column two. In my example, the first line is, is a header. So the data actually starts at line 2. Last, if you have a time column available, you can choose it right here. Now the time is added to your timeline of your nearest data. And we click OK. You can add the new data to a current or a new graph with or without any nearest data in it. Here we see an empty graph. You can now add a trace, and here on the type source we choose the import of the new data file. And then we want to import the column with data. Click OK. So now in this new graph we see the data that we have just imported. Please notice that this data is imported in the OXY project file not with the original OXY file containing your nearest data. So if you ever plan to transfer the data, do so for both the OXY project as well as the OXY file. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. If you have any questions, please have a look at our manual or contact us at askforinfo at artinas.com.